you had a statement that you made. Yeah. You said, uh, oh, let God. me address the elephant in the room. And no, I don't mean Whitlock. Look, I get it. Oh, taking God. a pick with Jason Whitlock is like taking a pick with Samuel L. Jackson and Django. Yeah. Yes. Most people might be perplexed by this act and others will get litty on you and call you a coon, sellout, or even worse. These are the pitfalls of a public life and I accept them. But let me be clear, the skit and photo were not meant to disrespect Colin's message or political stance. Rather, we want to spoof the media's treatment of him and the circus that has been created. And yep. there's some other stuff in there, but I think I that wrote, was the main point. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. And you know what? I, I'll say this. I regret um, I regret even saying that about, about Jason like that. Um, and I know he was he was upset by that. And and um, I, I you know what I'm saying the other the other parts of that that statement uh, you know I certainly stand by. Um, uh, but I don't know you know at the time it was like the shit was so hectic man it was like a burning building man you know and everybody was just kind of you know save yourself you know kind of kind of thing. So I mean and 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 look that that was that, that characterization was was way too. Um, way too harsh, you know what I mean? Like, and I said, I, I, and, and I, I, I regret that. I don't, I didn't mean to characterize him like that. You know, he has a lot of different viewpoints from myself. You know, we've it's one of those weird friendships that we'd had over the years where he knew I was a lefty, and I knew, you know, his stance on a lot of a lot of different things. And you know, we thought we could make this work, but it was it was a horrible, yeah. horrible catastrophe, and. Um, you know, um, you know, but thankfully, um, you know, thankfully, I that had I had to weigh that up against, of uh, you know, thirty years in the game and whatever you know credibility and and um, uh, honor that I had you know created over the years. So you know, and if you're you know this, if if you're in the game long enough, you're gonna bump your head a, oh, time, yeah. a time or two, oh, and yeah. and that was that was definitely a, a head bumper, and. Um, you know, I, it's it certainly made me think, um, in, in, you know, moving forward, how how you know we're in a different world mm -hmm. right now. You know, um, and you have to be, and as a public figure, as an entertainer, and as a comedian, as a comedic actor, um, you know, I'm usually really right on, but uh, that one that one went left, man. Right, because when Jason Whitlock got fired from Fox Sports, I've never seen so many happy people so, so many celebrations yeah. around his firing yeah and uh you know i'm friends with marcellus wiley he's a regular on my show i love marcellus yeah uh he's not looked at the same way as a jason whitlock that's a testament to um marcellus being you know his own person and, and, yeah. and his own individual mm -hmm. like the way he carries himself and his opinions and his track record um you know, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever Jason, his baggage was, wasn't, for some reason, didn't rub off on Marcellus. And now, yeah. and Marcellus has moved on with the show and, and mm -hmm. you know, it's, and it's doing well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm I, I, you know, th there's a lot of things about that whole situation that, that, uh, that I regret. There's, there's enough regret to go all around. Um, I'm glad we're past it. I'm glad that, um, Look, and you know, if you remember, you're talking about 2017. That's when the, that's when the joint was just popping off, man. And I just didn't I just didn't read it right, you know. It happens. Uh, I've it gone ha through my own lumps. Yeah, but I'm saying yeah, but but it yeah, is what it is. But imagine yeah, but imagine if, if if it had been a sketch on Saturday Night Live. You know what I'm saying? Like they might have been able to pull that off. Yeah, without Jason Whitlock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jesus. <laughs> that that's what really Is that what it always comes back to? I think it really came down to Jason. I think yeah, that, that was, that's, that's the whole that, point. Yeah, that right. That that right. <laughs> right. Like if you had done it with like right. Shaq right. on his show, right. it would have just right. been perceived differently. Right. If I did it with DL. Yeah. There you go. Right. I did it with Right. But oh, but going back to that, I will say this. A lot of a lot of um a lot of fans and 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 great friends um, you know, showed me a lot of love. Uh, allowed me to um, explain my position. Mm -hmm. um, even you know, even you know Harvey and you know even Harvey and them at TMZ. Uh, Willie D, uh, who I know you know uh, yep. well. Willie D was very very kind to me and allowed me to um, come on his show oh, okay. and, and talk about it. And um, so you know, like I said, I think I think um, my history and my longevity uh, helped kind of carry the day. But yeah, that was a. Yeah, that was a that was a bonehead joint right there. That was